as I said in the previous episode, I started working to consolidate my knowledge uh, around Python. I did solve some interesting coding challenges using Python, uh, so I decided to keep focusing on the basics uh, to make sure I understand them properly. And so I started recording a Python course for beginner in Italian, uh, my mother tongue, uh, for my people behind lockdown in Italy due to this coronavirus. Uh, and I also came to the decision uh, to self-isolate myself and my household to make sure my wife and I are safe because here in the UK the government is clearly not taking the matter seriously as it decided to do nothing uh, so far to protect the population. And along the uh, course for beginner. I'm still solving challenges on Vaga Rank using Python. So today for this uh, fourth episode of my uh, vlog Learn Python with Google um, I have decided to try to solve the challenge together one of these um, coding challenges on like a it's about Python and basic data types uh, so let's see uh, this one is find the percentage find the percentage um, and the problem statement says you have a record of n students each record contains the student name and their percent percent marks in math physics and chemistry the marks can be floating values the user enters uh, some integer and followed by the names and marks for an students uh, you are required to save the record in a dictionary data type the user then enters a student's name output the average percentage, percentage marks obtained by the student correct two decimal places so the input format says the first line contains the integer n the number of students the next n lines contains the name and marks uh, obtained by the that student separ separated by a space and the final line contains the name of a particular student previously li listed so the output format should be uh, on one line the we should print the average of marks obtained by a particular student is correct to two decimal places so a number with two decimal uh, so that's a sample input and that should be our output okay so let's analyze this bit of code that the challenge uh, gives to us um, as a starting point so on the uh, third line we see a dictionary the student marks as it said here somewhere that we should save all the students in a dictionary well I remember it said that somewhere um, yes here you are required to save the record in a dictionary data type and that's that has been done here on this line and then on the um, second line in line 2 we have an input as an integer 
So we have an input that should return an integer and we st are storing it in the end variable. Then uh, we say that it gives us this loop where we loop over the range of numbers that we get from here as it explained here in the say, sample input we get this first input which is a number of students I guess and then we look through this and we save each uh, iteration on this underscore variable and then what else we should grab here we mm, define the scores so we save all the scores as a list and uh, for the marks then here we grab we store the name variable by splitting the input provided by the program and then here we have the we update the dictionary uh, for each user and we add the scores that we have from here okay so what sh we should do that's that's it for the analysis so far so we should first let's check what we get if we print the name and if we print the student mark marks let's try to run the code and see what we get we get an error of course but so we got this name Malika which is one of the name that the program inputs for us and then we got this dictionary which is the one that we have seen here while looping over the um, inputs so um, let's see what to do if we print the student dictionary for the name we should have as a result only the Malika's scores and here we have so we should look through them and sum them and then split them by the length of this list to get the average as explained here so marks for Malika are 52, 56, 60 and the average is, is the sum of them divided by the length of the list so which, which is 3 and is 56 so let's see uh, if we of course if we print the length And we know that we can print the length of a list using the LAN function, which is a built in function in Python. And if we run the code, we should get three. And we do. So from here, we are pretty much ready to get started with our code. So we could uh, first uh, grab the the name that we want to return so we save it into a variable so first let's grab the scores for the student and we'd say students marks student marks for the name then we save the 
total amount of uh, scores, which is the three that we saw earlier. Student total scores. Length of the student name. Student. Student marks name. And then let's initialize the um, new variable. Uh, let's say the total is zero. Because now we are going to look through the to each uh, score for the marks, and then we are gonna add them to the total sum. To, to, to the total variable to make the sum so let's say for value in uh, student scores and uh, we say total plus equal the value and then total and then we return a result and let's say result is equal to the total so we need to find the average uh, total scores so we we saved the variable total score inside the variable total scores we saved the length of this list of scores for the user and then we can print it but we should print only two decimal numbers so let's see we can use the format uh, method on strings and let's say that we want to use the format and then what we pass here is the result result okay and we should return only two uh, floating points and that's how we do it then we are pretty much ready to try that to test our code let's see if we pass it and yes we do but we pass one test case as I said before, we have many test cases against who mm, we test our code um, and then we passed the sample test case zero but we didn't pass the other one because there is an error in our code and we should get, let's see how we can debug the code together I know there is an error so if we print the name we should get the right name we got Malik that's my input we got Malika and then here we got the second one not the, the first one that we should uh, return the average so it's the first one so there is a mistake in the error and here we got the error so we incorrectly passed the name uh, variable instead of the query name which is the second input that the programs um, says that we have on this line so the first line is the number of students that we have a list with the student name and these scores for the marks and then the last input that we have is the name of the user that we want to return uh, the average of score so let's say that we change this in only one place because we have these two variables and let's copy that and replace the name with the query name 
and that should fix our code now because we need to get rid of this that we added only for the bugging purposes so let's say we passed both use cases um, both sample test cases and then if we submit the code we you see we are testing our code against eight test cases and we pass it so now everything works uh, uh, as we expected and uh, quite that was quite easy i guess uh, however this challenge this kind of challenges can get uh, complex as uh, sometimes I personally find the instructions uh, not that easy to understand but at the end I guess it just takes a bit of practice uh, that's it for this um, video log uh, stay safe and stay at home see you next week cheers